this is up, Nikki. You're always welcome to join me in expanding your knowledge base. Comments are always welcome, man. Please subscribe. You know how we did the jumpers that we did yesterday. Okay. We have alligator clip on one side, and then we have the actual test hook on the other side, as you can see. Okay. That's nice for testing. Okay. Now we're going to try another setup. Okay. I want to put a test hook on either side of the wire. So, that is this, and then there's a the length of wire, and then there's this, and then we'll be able to grab on to things quickly at each end of the wire, whether it's a jumper or a component or something else. So, that's what I want to do. Now, this is going to make up for some quick and easy setting up of some components, and that's why I got these test hooks, because they got a whole lot of different uses. And I'm trying right now with the ones that I got to set them up in a way that's going to be convenient for me. Let's start with the yellow one. So I'm going to pull a yellow wire. So it's just like before. You're going to go ahead and strip the wire. As you can see. Strip it on that side. That's going to be actually I have a way that I do these for this particular one if you're doing the bigger ones and I'm gonna show you an example okay so if you're doing the bigger ones where you pull off the cap on the bottom you see that that's different from the small ones okay now, I'm going to give you a quick example because I don't think I did an example with these. When you have one of these, you want to keep the cord or the actual wiring short. And then you want to insert it in there and just pull it down just enough to go past there. And when you solder it, you just want to solder the wire on to this middle piece if you make a mistake and get it on the outer pieces it's going to be hard to get the cap back on so and another thing is this one makes it easier to get the cap back on once you got it soldered on right because on the back there's going to be a notch and you can see the back on the cap so then you just put it in and that's how you kind of know how to get it situated see and push it down if it don't push down right away just situate it until it pushes down and then you'll be able to use it oh, this one is not put in right let's see the little test hook sometimes the test hook will move off of the tip this tip should be inside that red part so you want to push it up and then move it over then pull it down and as you can see it's not sitting on no more you can see it's kind of where it need to be okay so now once you have it set up right <laughs> that's what the problem was then go ahead and find that notch turn it to the back side put it in Let's... okay there we go okay you gotta fiddle with it a little bit before you get it back on right and there you go so that's something to keep in mind just put it in the middle notch under this cap if you get it on the sides or solder on the sides you're gonna have to desolder because it's not gonna as you see it's a little bit tricky getting it on when you don't have solder on there it's a little bit more difficult when you do have um, the cord and the solder on there but it's doable so just don't get solder on the size of the copper piece inside the cap okay so back to what we were talking about okay now once I get this or I'm doing these here and as you can see you just grab it by them little notches you hold it and you open and close it 
that just makes your job a whole lot easier that's why I'm taking the time to show you how to work with these and get them set up because once you get them set up the work that you do is gonna be a whole lot simpler I think that's about well we could take off a little bit more don't take off too much but it's gonna be wrapped around the inside this way it's okay to wrap, get a good amount of wire and what I do is I grab the end right here and then I just start twisting it just twisting the insulated piece and that twists the um the wire pretty good then and once it's twisted on that real good I might try to twist up the end a little bit now that's twisted so we go to the other side and we're doing the same thing I'm using the 20 this is 22 gauge wire I'm using the 20 cuz and then I'm not even closing these all the way and then I'm pulling when I feel it catch because I don't want to strip off or I don't want to pull out too many wires so I'm using the 20 right there and then just closing enough until I feel it catch and then I'm pulling the insulation off okay same thing with this one you grab the very tip and then you just twist the insulated wire part okay just keep twisting and that allows the wire to twist up nice and easy okay now just finish it up a little bit okay so now we got both our ends stripped now we grab our I'm going to turn on the soldering iron I thought I was done soldering these things but it's it would be better to do this especially for our next experiment so I'm going to take our test our test hook I'm going to just pull the cap off a little bit it don't take that much okay and then we have what we seen before on the other one remember we're going to turn our hook up we're going to stick the wire through like that we are gonna give it a little bit of room to move at the top of the wire just hold it and then start wrapping your wire through the metal part this is the part that's gonna be soldered and if you could get it where it's just at that part you're doing good okay I got a little bit extra I'm just going to use another test hook. Just push that through a little bit. Okay. Need to push it through a little bit more. Just get that through straight too. Okay. So we got it. There's no strays right there. Everything is good. And this one should be able to come down like that once it's all soldered. Okay. So, of course, now I'm going to clear these off so you can see better, hopefully. I'm going to bring in my helping hands. Okay, open it up. Then we're going to put it in like this. I'm going to turn it around. Let's see if we can get a zoom in on that. Okay. Now we want to turn it up so that we can see that top part okay now we only want to get the solder we want to only try to get the solder in this middle part where the stranded wires are okay so with that said I'm going to tin the wire 
you always want to do that and that's by rubbing some solder on the tip and then I'm using a Brillo pad to clean it off it comes back that nice silvery color I always want to make sure the tin want to make sure your solder now and get used to being tint okay so I'm gonna use this hand let's go ahead and get this done I'm gonna try to do it carefully I'm putting the heat right under that bottom here for the eye let it heat up side it on and that's it that's all that needed to be done I believe that's a nice one. <sighs> Letting it cool off a little bit. I am Ebony Dick and I hope that the information provided has been helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe. Happy building and happy coding.